Danny Lebron Glover was born in San Francisco, California, the son of Carrie, Hunley, and James Glover. Both of his parents were postal workers and were active in the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP, working to advance equal rights. Glover's mother, daughter of a midwife, was born in Louisville, Georgia, and graduated from Payne College in Augusta, Georgia. His father was a World War II veteran. He graduated from George Washington High School in San Francisco. As an adolescent and a young adult, Glover had epilepsy, but has not had a seizure since age 35. He attended San Francisco State University, SFSU, in the late 1960s, but did not graduate. SFSU later awarded him the Presidential Medal of San Francisco State University for his service to education. Glover trained at the Black Actors Workshop of the American Conservatory Theater. Glover originally worked in city administration working on community development before transitioning to theater. He has said, I didn't think it was a difficult transition. Acting is a platform that can become a conveyor for ideas. Art is a way of understanding, of confronting issues and confronting your own feelings, all within that realm of the capacity it represents. It may have been a leap of faith for me, given not only my learning disability, dyslexia, but also the fact that I felt awkward. I felt all the things that someone that feels and with my own diminished expectations of who I could be and would feel. Whether it's art, acting, or theater that I've devoted myself to, I put more passion and more energy into it. His first theater involvement was with the American Conservatory Theater, a regional training program in San Francisco. 12. Glover also trained with Gene Shelton at the Shelton Actors Lab in San Francisco. In an interview on Inside the Actors Studio, Glover credited Gene Shelton for much of his development as an actor. Deciding that he wanted to be an actor, Glover resigned from his city administration job and soon began his career as a stage actor. Glover then moved to Los Angeles for more opportunities in acting. Glover made his film acting debut in Escape from Alcatraz, 1979. He would later go on to co-found the Roby Theatre Company with actor Ben Guillory in honor of the actor and concert singer Paul Robeson in Los Angeles in 1994. Glover has had a variety of film, stage, and television roles, and is best known for playing Los Angeles Police Sergeant Roger Murdaugh in the Lethal Weapon series of action films, starring alongside Mel Gibson and Joe Pesci. Later, he once again starred with Gary Busey in the blockbuster Predator 2. He gained acclaim starring as the husband to Whoopi Goldberg's character Seely in the celebrated literary adaptation The Color Purple. The same year, he played Lieutenant James McPhee in the film Witness. In 1994, he made his directorial debut with the Showtime Channel short film Override. Also in 1994, Glover and actor Ben Guillory founded the Roby Theater Company in Los Angeles, focusing on theater by and about Black people. During his career, he has made several cameos, appearing, for example, in the Michael Jackson video, Liberian Girl, of 1987. Glover earned top billing for the first time in Predator 2, the sequel to the science fiction action film Predator. That same year, he starred in Charles Burnett's To Sleep With Anger, for which he won the Independent Spirit Award for Best Male Lead. In common with Humphrey Bogart, Elliot Gould, and Robert Mitchum, who have played Raymond Chandler's private eye detective Philip Marlowe, Glover played the role in the episode Red Wind of the Showtime Network's 1995 series Fallen Angels. In 1997, under his former production company Banner Carey Films, Glover executive produced numerous films of first-time directors, including Pam Malvo's neo-noir short film Final Act starring Joe Morton, which aired on the independent F. Glover was featured in Wes Anderson directed 2001 film The Royal Tenenbaums, also starring Gwyneth Paltrow, Angelica Houston, Ben Stiller, and Owen Wilson, ILM Channel. In addition, in 2004, he appeared in the low-budget horror film Saw as Detective David Tapp. In 2005, Glover and Jocelyn Barnes announced plans to make No Fear, a film about Dr. Marsha Coleman Adebayo's experience. Coleman Adebayo won a 2000 jury trial against the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. 
The jury found the EPA guilty of violating the civil rights of Coleman Adebayo on the basis of race, sex, color, and a hostile work environment under the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Coleman Adebayo was terminated shortly after she revealed the environmental and human disaster taking place in the Brits, South Africa vanadium mines. Her experience inspired the passage of the Notification and Federal Employee Anti-Discrimination and Retaliation Act of 2002, No Fear Act. As of 2013, the No Fear title has not appeared, but the Marsha Coleman Adebayo story was announced as the next major project of No Fear Media Productions. Glover portrayed David Keaton in the film The Exonerated, a real-life story of Keaton's experience of being arrested, jailed, and then freed from death row. In 2009, Glover performed in The People Speak, a documentary feature film that uses dramatic and musical performances of the letters, diaries, and speeches of everyday Americans. Based on his story in Howard Zinn's A People's History of the United States, Glover played President Wilson, the President of the United States in 2012, a disaster film directed by Roland Emmerich and released in theaters November 13, 2009. In 2010, Glover participated in a Spanish film called I Want to Be a Soldier. In 2012, he starred in the film Donovan's Echo. G. Glover appeared at London Film and Comic Con 2013 at Earl's Court two over 2.5 days during Friday 5th to Sunday, July 7th. He participated in a panel discussion in Macomb, Mississippi on July 16, 2015. The event, co-sponsored by the Gloucester Project and Jubilee Performing Arts Center, included noted authors Terry McMillan and Quincy Troop. On January 30, 2015, Glover was the keynote speaker and 2015 honoree for the MLK Celebration Series at the Rhode Island School of Design, Providence, Rhode Island. Glover used his career and personal story to speak on the topic, creativity and democracy, social change through the arts. At the University of the Virgin Islands, Glover gave a speech that encouraged the graduates in their upcoming journey. It was announced in July 2018 that Glover will be the featured guest at the Port Townsend Film Festival in Washington State. Al Glover married Asaki Bomani in 1975, and they have a daughter, Mandisa, born in 1976. Glover and Bomani divorced in 2000. Glover married Elaine Cavallero in 2009. They divorced in 2022. Glover purchased a 6,000 square foot, 560 square meters, house in Dunthorpe, Oregon, in 1999. As of 2011, he no longer lives in Oregon. Over has been a voice actor in many children's movies.